11 inch macbook air a 1370 and a 1465 years 2010 through 2015 track battery replacement make sure that the mac is completely powered off close the lid and flip it over we're going to need a proprietary apple's star-shaped pentalope screwdriver bit Start in the top left and remove the short screw. The next two screws are slightly longer. Keep an eye on that. And then the remaining seven screws are all short. With the screws removed, we can go ahead and just pop the back panel right up. Before we do any work, let's go ahead and disconnect that battery. Pry underneath it with your fingernail or a plastic tool and just pop it out of the way like so. The battery is connected with five T5 screws on each corner and one in the center. Go ahead and remove the five screws. You'll notice that the top left and right corner are slightly longer and so is the middle. Go ahead and lift up and remove the battery. We need to disconnect two cables. Go ahead and lift up the eyelash on the trackpad and keyboard cable that connects it to the logic board and pull it out. And now we're going to have to um, get a little better angle here and lift this up. And as you can see here, we need to pop this additional eyelash right here. And then we're going to need to slide out the keyboard that's being connected to the trackpad. We're going to need a Phillips zero or a double zero screwdriver. We need to remove these six Phillips head screws, just the top row, the top three on each side. Make sure not to remove any of the other ones because they'll mess up the alignment. Now you can just lift up and remove the track pad. Reassembly. Drop the trackpad into its socket. Go ahead and place back one screw on each side and then place back the remaining four Phillips head screws. Go ahead and plug in that data cable from the logic board. Clip in that little eyelash. Now back from the side here, you might want to pull apart this cable and separate it so that you get a little more slack. Then you can just push it in and make sure to click in that little eyelash right there. Place the battery back and align it. Go ahead and secure the top right and the top left corners with the longer screws. Then the shorter screws in the bottom right and the bottom left and then the longer screw in the middle. Reconnect the battery to the logic board. Make sure it's nice and firm and clicked in. We can now place back the cover, align it, and give it a nice firm push. Put back the two longer screws in the middle top first, and now secure the rest of the eight shorter screws. Thank you for watching. Help support this channel by subscribing.